How's it going guys? My name is Krasi and welcome to my first ever FC25 tutorial on my YouTube channel. Today guys, I'm going to explain to every single one of you how the new tactic system in FC25 works. So let's begin. If you guys want to buy cheap, safe and reliable FC25 coins, make sure to check the link down below in the description. So guys, eSports just dropped FC25 and there is something different regarding tactics. The way it's working. Completely different compared to the previous FIFA edition. So today we're going to talk about tactics. I'm currently using my ultimate team squad. Okay, it's starter team. I didn't make any changes and formations and team management. There is something new, but first we're going to talk about formation. So please make sure that you guys select a formation that will keep all of your players on full chemistry. Trick chemistry, guys. Even if the formation that you're going to pick is not your favorite one, don't worry about it. You're not going to use it after minute one. You only pick the formation to make your chemistry 33 out of 33. And after minute one, we're going to make plenty of changes and you guys can actually use your favorite formation in FC 25. With that being said, I'm going to go with the 4-4-2 formation and then team management. The tasty part begins now. We're going to select team management default tactic. So this is the tactic that we just selected the 4-4-2 formation before minute one. I highly recommend to not touch it. Do not touch it, okay? You only use this tactic to boost the chemistry to 33 as I explained to you. For example, currently using custom preset. However, if I change it, let me change it to FC preset. It's a tactic provided by eSports. And if I save it, let me show you what just happened. We go back, we just saved it. Yes, I wanna save it. We destroyed it. We destroyed our before minute one formation. That's why I highly recommend you go to team management. Let me go back to the default tactic. I'm gonna go with custom. Nah, I destroyed it, guys. I need to I need to prepare it once again. That's why. Do not touch it. Unfortunately, my team is not going to play on full chemistry. That's a starter squad, guys. I need to work harder in the upcoming days to make it a full chemistry squad. But let me go back to team management. So, guys, default tactic. Do not touch it. Using the left stick or the D-pad button of your controller, move it to the right, bang, just like this. Use code. Okay, what is this guy? We're going to talk about the code in a minute. Go one more time to the right, new tactic, and press X, create. This is going to be your main tactic. For example, I'm going to name it after minute one, after minute one tactic. There we go. So I'm not going to use the 442 formation after minute one. The default one is selected by eSports is 433 flat. Balance, balance, but we're going to change it. Press X. Tactical preset. Once again, eSports is offering their presets. Avoid using it, okay? Make sure to always go with custom so you guys can put your own instructions, own set pieces, own defensive and attacking tactics. You don't want to use the default tactics provided by EA Sports simply because I don't think that eSports understand how FC25 works. So, tactical preset custom 100%. Formation, you guys can select any formation now, okay? This is the after minute one game plan that you're going to use from the D-pad button of your controller. So, you guys can change the formation just like this. Okay, any formation, guys. For example, I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with the four, you know what, I'm gonna go with 433. 433 flood, okay. 433 attack, defend, holding, flood. Okay, I'm gonna go with the 433 flood after minute one. Next, we've got build a play. Go down to build a play. We've got a few options, guys. Balance, counter, short passing, balance, and basically that's it, three options. And in my opinion, you should leave it in balance. First days of the game release, don't touch it. Leave it at balance, guys. Defensive approach. This approach gives the defender flexibility on how deep they drop and which runs they track. Okay, so press triangle. When you guys go to the defensive approach, press triangle and you guys can actually change it by yourself. High. We go up to aggressive now. Over 90 is aggressive. 100. It's super aggressive, guys. We go back. High. We go back to balance. And now if we go down to 30... It's gonna go too deep. It's super defensive. It's like part of the bus. 
if you guys go down to one, it's like part of the bus tactic. I'm just gonna leave it at 45, something like that. It's balanced. Okay, I'm gonna leave it at 45. There we go. Once you guys select your custom tactics, build a play, defensive approach, and so on. By pressing right stick once, so right now you guys can see it here, right here, guys. It says, without the bow. This is the way your team is looking without having possession of the bow, okay? When you guys move to the right using the right stick once with the bow, this is the way your players are moving on the pitch with the bow, but we can change it. We can change the way your 4-3-3 formation is looking with the bow and without the bow. How exactly you guys can do it? By pressing the R1 button once and you guys go to play rows. There we go. And the tasty part begins now. You guys can change the instructions for every single one of the players on the field. And then every single one of the players on the field will have a different approach to the different situations. Let me, for example, press to the goalkeeper. I press it once and then I press it one more time. Triangle, okay? And I go like this. So you guys can see the available options for the goalkeepers. Okay, we've got two. I'm just gonna leave it at default. Also, if you guys press square, you guys can see actually the way your goalkeeper is moving on the field and any other player on the field, okay? So, goalkeeper is moving a bit to the left, to the right. You guys can see the highlighted area in green on the field. So now let's talk about center backs. I'm going to select this one. I'm going to press triangle. There we go. And you guys can see the different options. Defender, stopper, ball playing defender, guys. Plenty of options. It's too early. FC25 just dropped. I cannot tell you which option is the best. I'm going to tell you in the upcoming days when I try out all the available options. So I'm just going to leave it at Defender. But when we go back to this screen, by using the D-pad button, guys, you can you can switch between Defender, Stopper, and Ball Playing Defender, guys. You can actually see the way the center back is moving on the field. For example, if you guys go with the Defender, he's going to be extremely, extremely defensive on the field. If you guys go with Stopper, he's gonna move a bit to the midfield area and do his best to stop the attacks starting from the midfield and probably you're going to leave some gaps in defense. If you guys go with this one, ball playing defender, I'm afraid that your center backs are going to leave huge gaps in defense. So for now, I'm gonna go with Defender Plus. That's it. Regarding the LB and the RB, let's talk about the LB. Once again, we've got variety of options. One, two, three, four. Let me go back because it is easier to explain to you how it works. Fullbacks. This is the default one. If you guys press it to the right, to the right once, the left stick, win back plus option. You guys can see this one and this one, okay? Fullback. This is the most defensive one. You go once, you press once to the right, win back plus. He's a bit more offensive. He will join the attacks. He help you guys with crossing, passing, and everything else in attack. If you guys press it one more time, falls back. Your LB and RB will actually join the attack through the midfield. They're going to play like box-to-box -box midfielders. Something like that. And if you guys press it one more time, attacking win back. This is the most aggressive option if you guys want your LB and RB to join the attack. Attacking win back versus win back plus, okay? This one is not as aggressive as attacking win back plus option, but I highly recommend that you use this one in the last minutes of the matches if you guys want to score goals. But for now, okay, I'm just gonna leave it. Win back. Regarding the midfielders, okay. Once again, plenty of options. I'm going to select my first box-to-box -box midfielder. We've got half winger, holding, deep line playmaker, box-to-box -box and playmaker, guys. Let me go back now so you guys can see the way the player is moving on the field depending on the option that you guys select. Box-to-box, -box, playmaker, you guys can see box-to-box -box means that the best option in my opinion is going to be box-to-box, -box, by the way. So your CM is moving forward moving backward to help in defending also, guys. So box to box, playmaker, half winger. You don't want him to, I don't know, maybe you want him to move to the wing. It's a personal preference, but I do not recommend that option. Holding is a bit more defensive option and deep line playmaker, guys. Extremely defensive option in my opinion. So, okay, I'm gonna go with holding for the left one, holding for the right one, and the one in the middle, I'm gonna go with that deep playmaker option, guys. Now, regarding the wingers, once again, plenty of options. 
winger wide playmaker inside forward so regarding winger you guys can see he's only moving towards the wing up and down wide playmaker also guys joining the penalty box i like this option inside forward sometimes he will join the attack and play close to your striker i kind of feel like i'm gonna leave it at white playmaker the same thing apply to my other winger okay and regarding the striker we've got target forward false nine and two more options guys i don't know which one is the best okay advance forward take a look at this one target forward so this one is coming back in the midfield just a bit to take possession of the ball target forward staying at the top of your attack all the time this one false nine going to the left going to the right trying his best to ask for the ball and this is the last one i feel like this one is going to be great this player has one objective score goals so this is one of the best possible options in my opinion guys that you can use for your striker so there we go without the ball this is the way your players are looking on the field without the ball and guys when you press on with the ball you can guys actually see the actual difference for example once again i want to show you something if you guys go like this false nine you guys can see he's changing his default position you guys can see it however i'm going to leave him at the top of my attack i want to make things clear guys with the ball or without the ball you cannot use different tactics for with the ball and without the ball basically you're going to use the same tactics for both game plans this is the way your team is looking with the ball and without the ball esports want to present to you the the way your team is staying on the field okay and guys once you select the instructions for every single one of your players you can review them by selecting every single one of them okay like this for example i'm gonna go to barewa I'm not going to change anything, okay? I'm just going to select Barella. And by pressing X once, you guys get a description on how the player is going to play on the field. The focus is different. If I go now to Haka, for example, once again, the focus is different. If I go to Richarlison, the focus is different. I know he's out of position. I'm just showing to you how the tactics work. And for example, if I go to... Let me guys select my... Saba Costa, the focus is balanced. So once you guys select your instructions, tactics, and formation after minute one, all you guys have to do is go back and your game plan is ready to use. Now, take a look at the screen. Do you guys see the code under my after minute one tactic text? And this is the code. You guys can copy paste. For example, if you guys like my formation tactics and, and instructions in the next menu, use code, import a new tactic using a code. So. Just go and copy paste the code and you will automatically get my formation and tactics prepared for you. And this is a brand new feature in FC25. So this is one. You can build one more using a friend of your tactic. It's two, three, and the default one is four. You know what? You can build more tactics. Just create names. There we go. One second, guys. Yeah, you can build more tactics. There is a limit of five tactics. Okay, remove one to add a new tactic. Basically, guys, you can use up to five tactics from the D-pop button of your controller after minute one of your matches. Default, after minute one tactic, one more, one more, one more, and use code tactic. And by the way, there is something that I forgot to mention, guys. After you select your game plans, after you create tactics, by pressing R1 button on your PlayStation, you guys can go to assignments. Okay, so it applies to every single formation, guys. You guys can go to assignments just like this, and you guys can select free kick takers, corner kick takers, and everything else. Penalty, shootout takers just select your best possible players in your team and something very important regarding the corner kick instructions you guys can select a player that you want at the near post you want the target player inside the box so you guys can select two players actually three players one more at the back post one in the middle one at the first post one at the far post for example at the near post if you guys have holland if you guys have virgil van dijk and you guys want to score headers at the near post bank this is a game changing option in my opinion applicable for corner kicks near post is going to be a game changer you guys can select any player in your team by pressing x yeah i, I want to change it i'm just showing to you how it works and now guys i'm going to enter a squad battles game i'm not going to play it i just want to present to you how it works so 
press the D-pad button of your controller, controller once to the left and you guys can see your tactics. You guys can see my after minute one tactic over there, currently selected it by the way. When you press it once, the D-pad button, you guys can see how you, you can select the other tactics. Left, right, up and down. I'm gonna press up, so I select the default tactic. Now, I wanna explain to you one more time. I press the D-pad button once to the left and now I need to press it, let me see. I need to press it one more time, for example, to the left if I wanna select tactic slot three. If I wanna select after minute one tactic, I press it up once. And that's it. I just selected the tactic that I built for you. Also, guys, you can use AI to suggest to you a tactic of yours that you should use after minute one. If you guys press the D-pad but D-pad button once to the right, you guys can select. So let me go back and attacking, defending, default. For example, if you guys have a ultra offensive tactics, one of the five tactics is let's say 343. And if you guys go like this and press attacking, the game will automatically select your 343 tactic. If you guys have a super defensive one with five at the back defenders and you guys press defending, the game will automatically select your tactic with five at the back players. So you can quickly switch between your tactics using the help of AI. But anyways, guys, this will be all for today. Hope you enjoyed today's tactics video. I just explained to you how the new tactic system works. Don't worry about it. In the upcoming days, I'm going to create dedicated tutorials on the best possible formation, custom tactics and instructions. As always, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, you're more than welcome to smash the like button below. If we go over 300 likes, that will be massively appreciated. Thank you once again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye bye.